Italia, Roma, Italy, remnants of civilizations, ancient pillars, columns, tourists. I don't even know what this thing is behind me. Not sure what it is, but this is on the Palatine Hill, the Forum, the noises, the ambulances, the Colosseum, the Arch of Titus, who, or Constantine rather, who tries to, of course, be bigger and better than Titus, the original arch around the corner. Falling civilizations cycles, synchronicities, circles and cycles of the equinox, the 26,000 years divided into 12 turns into the 2,160, whatever it is, the cycles go around. Pangaea, Lemuria, Atlantis, sorry for the wind noise, Greece, Rome, gone. Rome is gone. We're still here digging. There's all kinds of archaeological digs right over here, digging into the old warehouses. The Palatine Hill, the Forum, where the Empress, the Circus Maximus. I had a past life that occurred that I, I saw several lives of mine in, in Rome. Killing, murder, all kinds of shit that we all did. Um, Circus Maximus, Antoninus Pius was my name, or one of my friend's names in that lifetime. And so here we are again. We're coming back digging in it. People, the barbarians, took it over. We're looking at us being able to conquer the Roman spectacle, the year 80, 80 AD, 5,000 animals killed. Hundreds of gladiators murdered, blood in the sand, the emperor from right over here up on the hill. This is some ancient temple I'm standing in. This is, I don't even know what that is. Rome has come and gone. The seagull flying right over my head. Rome has come and gone. These cycles we go through trying to outpicture what's in our soul. As I'm struck by... Rome, going around Rome, the noises of a modern city, ambulances, craziness, people, hawkers of everything, fake gladiators, the normal stuff. I'm struck by the last two days in Rome how the real beauty, the real beauty is us, the human being, the beautiful people. Here we are walking around dead old monuments thinking that they are beautiful. And I'm really struck by, we are the beauty. We are the beautifulness. The human being, the beautiful forms, you know. Men are attracted to beautiful, rounded women. The real beauty is not this stuff. This stuff comes and goes, you know. Back in Pangaea, where we lived with the fairies and form change and the different worlds. That was the closest we were. Everything has been a fall since then. Across the way over there, they're doing the archeological dig, digging up an old warehouse. The Arch of Titus over here behind me. And here's the Palatine Hill. We're gonna go down to the actual famous forum shot this morning at breakfast. Behind us is an old painting of the Forum, maybe done 300 years ago, you know? So the civilizations come and go. How many incarnational cycles do we need to know, need to do, before we realize? How many more times, here's the archaeological girls measuring. They'll, we'll spend hundreds of years remembering the Roman Empire, which lasted a, a thousand years. It's nothing. Nothing compared to the eternity of you. Nothing. So we do these cycles as human beings. We do these cycles. But I'm struck with that the real temple, the real temple is not these giant old pillars. 
on the Colosseum. The real temple is us. We are the real temple. We will always be the real temple. The body is the real eternal temple. So this last couple of days around Rome, of course, lots of tourists and lots of beautiful Italians. We walked on the street yesterday with Tiffany and company and all the beautiful leather shoes and all the beautiful Italian suits, all that stuff. Italians have a sense of style, sense of beauty, sense of, you know, wanting that which looks and feels good on them. But the real beauty, the real temple, is us, the seven chakra, which is soon to be remembered as the nine chakra system, the black chakra below and the golden sun above. We are the real temple. These temples are nothing. Even though millions of people come to see them, see what we used to do here, the one-upsmanship of Titus and Constantine, Titus's arch, Titus's arch, wherever it is, yeah, right back there, and then Constantine's arch, which is bigger and better, right there, right? That one-upsmanship, same thing, the Colosseum, the fancy boxes, the boxes, the season ticket boxes, no different, right there in the Colosseum, no different than America today. America is the reincarnation of Atlantis. Atlantis, Greece, or Atlantis, Egypt, Greece, Rome, the U.S. Are we going to do the same thing? Are we going to create another monument, this time filled with laptops and iPods and iPhones that I'm holding right now? Is this what people are going to be excavating? where we're back again looking at it. The Russian guy on the bus with me, I can feel him as an ancient gladiator. He has no fucking clue who he was in that lifetime because we went unconscious, the veil came in. If you wake up, if you start waking yourself up, you're gonna, we're gonna be able to not repeat this. These are the ancient, this stuff was built to last. You know, 2000 years ago. We're making this shit now in Phoenix, we're making this stuff in Arizona, all over. That's the fake. It's just fake plaster. It won't even last a hundred years. This stuff lasted. If it had been maintained, obviously it would have been an amazing city here all around me. I'm going to go to the St. Peter's later and watch the Vatican trying to conquer themselves by stealing the obelisks from Egypt, which is the actually an antenna device to harness the natural zero point energy around. We're gonna see that and they stick the cross on top. I'm not judging any of this, I'm just sharing it, showing it. Here we are, the hordes are back. Back in Rome, Turismus. God bless us all. Maybe there's enough of us at this time that wanna wake up, that are ready to wake up from having to repeat this cycle of civilizational rise, civiliz civilizational fall.